the formidable robot. During the period of the 80s, the horror boom wasn't like anyone expected, with the rise of VHS back in the day. Horror was on the rise with popular movies, like Scream, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Friday the 13th. Then you had unexpected horror gems, like Class of Nuke M. High, and Toxic Avenger, from Troma Films. On the side of TV, you had Tales from the Crypt and Tales from the Other Side. In 1984, a TV series was released with one episode before the series was cancelled unexpectedly. That's what most people said, but it's revealed that 5 of the 30 episodes were recovered from TV recorded VHS tapes found in the basement of a manor. The series was called, Tales from the Bedside Manor, a gothic take on Tales from the Other Side with a splash of creep show. The series stars a puppet bunny named, Mr. Grimm, an obvious take on the Crypt Keeper. Each episode was a story per episode. Mr. Grimm's voice sounded ghostly, almost in a hushed whisper. The first tape was marked, 010413. The numbers made no exact sense or known date, but the only knowing detail is that the tape took place during 1984. The episode started immediately with Mr. Grimm explaining about the plot of the episode, before the camera jump cuts to the segment, One Way Todd. What was reported was what no one expected, all it showed was a still frame of this Todd guy, smiling a very wicked smile, while a distorted version of Moonlight Sonata played. Flashes of distorted faces were shown as the camera pulls out. As it pulls out, it showed Todd holding a sign, a one-way sign, on the ground next to him was a dead body laying there. The frame stood there for five minutes, before the screen cuts to black and then immediately went to the credits. Then something odd happened. The emergency alert system screen appeared the moment the episode finished, citing a missing person and to contact the family about details and police for any clues. What could be so disturbing about this? Nothing seemed off, just seemed ordinary. It was reported that the set was an actual road with the one-way sign, which meant the people who used the set were arrested and fired for bringing in a dead body in the set. The other tapes were scattered across a friend group called, the Noticing Notable Notorious Networthy Night Hawks, whoa that's a lot of n-words, not racist by the way, consisting of people who investigated these tapes. To this day, no one has updated on the second tape. As a small update, Joe Rathcliffe had uploaded an email chain with another guy named Randy Smith, talking about the second tape and its contents. Don't get me started on the loud house enough is enough. <laughs>